I caught I caught a skunk in a live trap. That was the worst. How did you get rid of it? Did you did it try to spray? I wouldn't imagine it, that would happen. It tried to. So here's what I had to do. The worst part about this. So I was trying to catch a stray cat uh, that was that was uh, fighting with one of my other cats. Uh, my my goal was to catch this cat because it was a monster. It was a big beefy cat, and mm -hmm. I thought if I can catch this cat and keep it around my cats and get it domesticated, I wouldn't mind having it around because it'll kill raccoons. Sure. And uh, and so I was gonna catch this cat in a live trap. Well, I shine my flashlight on the live trap, and it's a skunk. And the bad part is I had to drive to Texas from Minnesota that day. Jeez. So uh, I, I walked up very carefully, and I clipped a leash, like one of those yard uh, wire leashes to this thing. So it's like 15, 20 feet long. Mm -hmm. And then I drug the skunk across the yard to a pond and uh, slowly walked kind of back and forth, and the, the, the cage kind of went into the pond, and I had to drown the skunk. Uh, yeah. and, and so I, I drag it in and I felt really bad cause like the, the pond was flooded. So it wasn't deep. It was way out past the border of the pond. Normally it wasn't deep. So like I could still see the top of the cage and a little, little, uh, skunk paw doing this and then yeah. it stops. And so I'm like, Oh, okay. So I pull the cage out and I'm about to get the skunk out of it and throw the corpse off in the woods. So it doesn't stink up the whole yard. And it comes back. It like starts oh, breathing again. So I take God. the cage and I throw it back in the water and I left it there for like, yeah. uh, you know, 30 minutes. Cause I don't know if you guys know this, but if you shoot a skunk, it will spray like crazy oh. way worse than anything you've ever seen. So there's nothing you can do with it. <laughs> so the skunk, the skunk made uh, basically skunk tea out of my pond. <laughs> and then uh, right before we left, I pulled it out. It, it had been gone for, for a while then and, and got rid of the body. But, uh, that's just uh that was just a shame. That was a shame. But I I knew I couldn't shoot it because uh I did have a skunk go in one of our window wells uh the prior year and I shot that thing and it sprayed and the room oh. the room that was attached to that window was not usable for something like 6 months. Wow. Um, Cuz it Damn. was so brutal. So uh drown your skunks y'all. The only way to do it. <laughs> have you ever uh, have you ever killed animals in close quarters combat? Uh, no, can't say that I have. Can't say that I, have. <laughs> I have because yeah. because I live out in the country and uh, and I made a very dumb choice um, that we had raccoons uh, eating our uh, cat food. We had outdoor cats and I was going through like 16 pound bags of cat food in like three days because wow. uh, these big raccoons would come in and they just, you know, I didn't want to go out in the winter, especially you don't want to go outside every day and drop a scoop of cat food so you just get one of those big automatic feeder things right and uh so i'm filling up this thing and uh i i trapped two of the raccoons in the shed and i had this bright idea that i'd go in there and just kill the animals um up close and so i go and i lock myself in a shed and i have a light and i have a hammer and a knife because uh -huh. uh, this is before i owned a gun and then I just realized that I had locked myself <laughs> in a shed with freaking raccoons. And uh, this is how I analogize what's going to happen is um, I was never in more danger right. from those raccoons than I was when I was right about to kill them um, right. because they were cornered. They were terrified and I had to get very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys live out in the live out in the country. Live out in the country. You find all sorts of ways to kill animals that are threatening your your family and your yeah. livestock.